Priya, on a day like this morning when price action is a little muted, everyone zooms in on a big call from the right. CEO of JP Morgan. What gets us to 5% on a US 10 year? So a lot of things have to change, I think, for 5%. For Number one, I think the equilibrium interest rate that the Fed thinks that, uh, or, or the uh, equilibrium level of, of Fed funds, ov overnight rate, I think we should be able to handle 5%. The Fed right now is telling you it's not even 3%. They're saying 2.875% is neutral rate for, uh, for the U.S. economy. For that to change, I think either labor force participation has to rise. Well, that's a little hard. Um, uh, or, or we have to see productivity go up. I think productivity it has been a big puzzle. Why is that not picking up? Is it automation? Is it Amazon? You know, we're all sort of struggling with this question, but productivity has not picked up now for a very long period of time. So when I think of 5%, I really don't see how the Fed can take us there. So now we're looking at the long end. You know, do you get global rates rising? I think if German bonds are at 2%, sure, then U.S. Treasuries can be at 5 except German bonds are at 45 basis points yep. or, or uh, even lower. If you look at 10-year JGBs, we're not even at 20 basis points, which the BOJ has told us they're okay with, yet 10-year JGBs are at 11 basis points. You know, then 10-year Treasury is at close to 3% is pretty attractive. So I think the, the the entire global backdrop is very hard for me to see how the long end can sort of de-anchor itself from the front end.